So we are here today with the man with the longest name in professional wrestling, Michael Allen Richard Clark. And it took about 10 seconds to say that. Um, if you have questions for Michael Allen and Richard Clark, please put them in the comments. It says, please, it's spelled with P-L-E-A-S. Quiet. Be quiet. Uh, which, first alive or dead, which ring announcer would you like to hear introduce you? Any of them. The if ones you're... that work for the WWE. No. <laughs> I don't know. Howard Finkel would be really cool. Um, I always enjoyed uh, Tony Chimmel, actually, just because I grew up with him so much. Why don't we start with, with you telling us a little about yourself? Why wrestling? Who trained you? Uh, I was trained by... A bunch of people, a bunch of people take credit for training me. I consider like the biggest guys who mostly train me are like Robbie Gamble, Wable Starr, Jumpin' Joe. Um, yeah, a lot of, I had a lot of hands in helping train me though, because it was with High Impact Wrestling or whatever. So just a lot of people kind of helped out. Uh, with, co with the gyms closed, how do you, how have you been training during COVID-19? You see it right here. I uh, I, uh, I sold yep. everything in my spare bedroom, and, bedroom I and I bought a bunch of gym equipment. Gym equipment. <laughs> when is your next wrestling match? I don't know. I don't Hopefully, know. Soon. Hopefully soon. I mean, nothing's, uh, nothing's open right now. They can't have groups of people, so I, I honestly don't know. Hopefully before the end of the year, but I don't know. It depends how long this uh, everything stays closed for. What? Where is your favorite city to wrestle in? Saskatoon's always a lot of fun, just because they got really a really loud crowd and a great atmosphere. Um, Edmonton as well. I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite place, but wrestling at home in Manitoba is pretty fun too, though. Tell us about the Prairie Wrestling Alliance event on YouTube tonight. What is happening and how can fans interact? All right. I was told earlier today I had to clear this up. You go in, click on the link. I guess you can sign in with your YouTube or your Gmail. You can ask any questions to any of the wrestlers that happen to be there. And yeah, they're live streaming the last event that we had. I believe that was at the very beginning of March. So, and that was in Calgary. What has been your greatest Who did you take on in the event? Who did you take on in the, that event? It's uh, myself and Bobby Sharp and Gigi Ray in the main event against Michael Richard Blaze, Brandon Van Danielson, and Zoe Sager. Any spoilers? We win. Have not much of a spoiler, I mean, obviously. What has been your greatest accomplishment with your wrestling so far? Getting a WWE trial was pretty cool. Um, wrestling Cody Rhodes was really cool. As much as it kind of sucked, too, I mean, got to take a mandible claw from Mick Foley, so, I mean... Eight-year-old me would love that. How did the WWE tryout go? I think it went really well. Um, I mean, it's hard to speak of anything when you don't really get a lot of feedback. It's just like a lot of eyes on you. They're just watching you, watching everything you do, and they didn't really say too much. But, I mean, who knows how you could get a call a year down the road. I mean, I honestly don't know. Hopefully, it, I think it went well. Depends on how you think about it. Um, what is What's your favorite thing? wrestling move? Like in general or the ones that I do? Ones that you do. Or in general. Uh, I like my middle rope suplex. That's always fun. Uh, in general, probably like a choke slam or a tombstone. Why don't you like bus people? Because they have to rely on public tra transportation and they're the bane of society. They leech off everybody's hard work and they just ride along and don't do anything for themselves what keeps you motivated goals i'm very goal orientated so the more you know you set goals for yourself and then when you reach the goal it's really cool so that that like keeps me motivated is just like keeping goals and keeping things in in mind and having goals to accomplish i guess any motivational quotes quotes that keep you you Going you used to keep you going that you used to keep you going. Okay. Ooh, 
lots of things I probably can't quote on here. Um, just go listen to, there's a handful of songs, I bet you that's mostly where I would get my quotes for. I don't necessarily have motivational quotes per se, but like there's things in songs that really like get me pumped up and keep me going, if you will. Do you like being housebound during the song? What have you been doing during your spare time? Break, baking bread? It's okay now that the weather is like kind of turning. I, I've been going for a lot of runs outside and bike rides and stuff. Um, it is kind of hard being housebound, but I never really did a ton of stuff before other than go to the gym and, you know, things like that. So now that I have a home gym, that's okay. It kind of offsets it, but the home gym's not the same as the real gym. So I'm itching to get back to a real gym sometime. Has the rise of AEW helped independent wrestling? Yeah, I'd say so. Like, the more good quality wrestling that's out there, the better. And uh, AEW just means, like, maybe more options for independent wrestlers who want to go somewhere. Um, AEW is also good just because competition is always good, right? Like, yeah. keeps everybody on their toes. Plus, it's actually racking up a lot of attention towards wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, Cody Rhodes has really done a great thing. I was actually very lucky to wrestle him just before the AEW stuff happened. Yeah. So. You guys saw that match. We saw that match. I also. Oh, you were there. That's cool. I also saw a match where you faced... I forget what his name was. Sugar. Mick Sugar with the thumbtacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a meltdown there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I didn't see that one, though. Who are Who is your dream opponent, alive or dead? In terms of, like, what I would just be excited to wrestle, or do you want, like, a really good match? <laughs> just what, who would, any, like, any a person you wish you could... Uh, a lot Kane, of that. Undertaker, like those two would be like obviously super awesome. Dead, I'd have to say Macho Man. I always, I think the Macho Man's honestly like the greatest. So, are you binging any good TV shows on Netflix? Not really. I binged The Tiger King uh, with my girlfriend a little bit, but nothing too exciting otherwise. I don't watch much TV to be honest. If you have any. Viewer question if you have any questions, just put them down in the comment section below. And yeah, Callum, ask a question. I see you're in here. Uh, did you see the photo of Ginger Mahal with Joe Jim Exotic? Ginger. I did not with Joe Exotic. No, I did not. That's interesting. It's on I've his seen step. other pictures of like indie guys down in the states around that area. Apparently, he used to go to a bunch of like independent shows. So there's lots of those like indie wrestlers that I have just on Facebook because wrestlers just add wrestlers on Facebook. But I've seen a lot of them posting pictures with Joe Exotic, and I thought that was kind of cool. A gin it's on Instagram, and Jinder is not a, in as good a shape as he is today. Oh, Jinder's in phenomenal shape. I haven't seen him recently, but my God, I was... <laughs> I was uh, on a show with him a month before he returned to the WWE, and it, the, it was night and day difference. If you could be any superhero, what would you be? Christine asks. Sorry, um, I said that wrong. Maybe Wolverine would be pretty cool, I think. Got adamantium all around him and got claws. I always thought he was pretty cool. Batman would be cool, because it'd be cool to be really rich. Hey, yeah. You can do pretty much anything. You can crash cars. And, and then just buy, buy another one, yeah, right? It's, it's, you could just buy a million cars if you want. Buy a million cars and just crash them all. Uh, I forget who asked this. Oh, Flinches asked, why are you afraid to, afraid to fight little Jerry? Because Jerry got an iPad. Pretty scary, but... <laughs> gotta have... Ben Morris yeah, asks, who has been your toughest opponent? Cody Rhodes is really cool to wrestle, and he's pretty tough. Um... In terms of just like toughness though, like I'd say like BVD or Blaze, oh. like Blaze, every time you wrestle him, he just beats the crap out of you. <laughs> yeah, I forget who this was, but we saw Blaze and this other guy. Who was it? Where? He was at Regina or Saskatoon. Saskatoon, I think. Regina. Against Sean Moore. Yeah, we yeah, Sean Moore. That 
I cannot stand him. He's an idiot to me. The other guy, Sean Moore. Well, tell him about your losing. Sean Moore's losing streak with you and you're in the crowd. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whenever I'm in the crowd, Sean Moore loses. It's weird. Sean Moore. Loses. <laughs> you gotta stay away from him, I guess, eh? Yeah, no, Cannonball. Uh, Flint just said Cannonball. That's a that's a good point. Cannonball is very tough and very. Once again, beats the crap out of you. Oh, where do you want to travel when you can travel again? Where would I like to travel? I want to go to Disney World, man. I love Disney stuff. I'd like to go to Disneyland, you know, that kind of stuff. Where else would I like to travel? I'd like to travel to the gym. I'd like to go see my mom. I'd... There's lots of things I'd like to do. Well, any more questions? Last questions. Because we literally ran out because nobody wants to ask any questions. Well, if you whoever asks Wait. questions, thank you. Okay, tell us about PWA event again. again. Uh, oh, yeah, it's just live on YouTube. Click on the link. Go to PWA's Facebook page or Twitter. I think it'd be on there, too. Um, just click the link, and you'll be able to ask lots of questions to whoever is going to be there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a few of the PWA guys there to answer your questions. I know the announcers will be there as well. So, and would I ever wrestle Ben Morris? Um, no, Ranger Ben is too dangerous for me. And am I single? That's that's a private question. That's a private question. Sorry to that girl who must be very disappointed. Um, if, probably just DM him, then we'll get an answer instead of <laughs> on a kid's show. Uh, well, probably. I would love a five-day push-up contest with anybody. We have never done this. So someone actually asked us to do a push-up contest on one on, of our videos. And, and we, never still done never, it. we still never did it, even though I would win. Why not? We, do it we, both of you I, guys at once. I think. Or we could even do a three-way. You got Ben Morris there. You could do Ben versus you versus me. Big three-way dance push-up contest. Four, four ways. Like, this is probably the second time oh, push-up. Yeah, 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 you two pushers. versus each other. I thought you two would be on a team, but yeah, sure. No. We, me and him are, we, if me and him are on a team, the team will literally just implode within seconds. Um, what about a good push-up? We're the brothers of destruction, eh? <laughs> Let's yeah. all have a five-day push-up contest. That's, that's it. What is the challenge, though? Yeah, what is the five-day push-up challenge? I don't know. Let's, let's see what uh, Ben says here. Right? Yeah, All ben, I hear what's is the push five day push up challenge. Right? We have gotten a debate going. Come on. Come on, Ben. Have nothing else to do. We have no more questions. We answered them. You answered them so. We have, we have stumped, stumped Ben. Have, we have stumped probably ben. Right answer, right answer. Let's hear. Probably a big answer. You guys are the host. Is Amanda Ruler still yeah, watching? With the push up contest, though. Yeah, if Amanda Ruler is still watching, what is some. She's not allowed to participate. She oh, is a he's super. You took the term. So, what's a five day push up contest to you guys? Five different challenges of push ups. Five well, different. Lay them out. Tell, it, like, tell everybody. How many? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, we'll we'll post it every day. Okay. Five push up challenges in five days. Next week. Next yeah, week. Sorry, Monday. But what sorry, are they? Monday. Um, first, longest push up. I know. Uh, Most, longest, so, first challenge. You have to try and hold a push up for as long as you can. But spacing when you're doing it, you have to like go down and up. You gotta have your arms like bent the whole time or what? I think. I think. I don't. We don't know yet. This is. This is turning well, in. Everybody, well, you guys pick up the rules and then we can uh, make like a YouTube video. I'll send you some videos and then you can put it all together. And I got an idea. One arm push, one armed push-ups. That's a good there, idea. There you go. The most one armed push-ups. That's the one. first day one. The most one armed push-ups. You're gonna fail. Then all the right. winner chooses day two's challenge. Yeah. The winner of wow. day one chooses day two's challenge. You guys want challenge. choosing five days of challenges? This though? is an open. Yeah, this is the open contest. So how about we have one week and see how many people will enter for this challenge. Put it up, put it on your YouTube, put it on your Insta. Yeah, go ahead. Which member, uh, Deuce YD asks, 
Uh, which member of Pantera could do the most push-ups? Bill, I would think. Ben Morris is dang on oh, one. Okay, so here is what my idea is. We have a week and let everyone enter. You just gotta probably like... No, here's the day. You have to enter by t on Monday. By Monday. Monday. By Monday. Monday. By Monday, you have to enter. Here's the hashtag. Five-day push-up challenge, Mastodons. And tag both us and Michael Andrews, Richard Brown, Clark. Tag us in it, and uh, we can also splice together some stuff for you. You guys got a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got a YouTube channel. It's like, actually. Yeah, because you did. I remember you interviewed Cody Rhodes when he was there, right? Yeah, we also interviewed Blaze. And I will... Right, right, right. I can't do it. Yeah, okay. I, I can't do a one arm push up either. I can try. I can try. I can try. Okay. Uh -huh. We want to interview you when this is done at the gym. Yeah, Somewhere sure. where we can cannot see everybody else. All right. Thank maybe, you for maybe joining. Maybe. Wait. wait. Okay. If you if wrestle, you cannot wrestle anyone who would no be. if you, if, if you, you could, cannot wrestle no, if you could, could wrestle. wrestle Anyone, who, who would, would it be? Wrestler or not? Someone that I kind of want to beat up is like Michael Sarah. I don't know why. I don't really like him. You know who that? That's the guy in uh, Superbad. Yeah, he's in Superbad. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Wait, what has been your craziest wrestling outfit? This is going to get this pumped back up. I, I haven't really worn anything crazy to wrestle, I don't think. Nothing, anything nothing could be crazy, crazy right? that you guys haven't seen. I used to wear a singlet, and now I wear trunks, and that's about it. That's all I've ever really wrestled in. I guess I used to wrestle with no boots, so that's kind of not crazy, but as crazy least, as I get. I'm saying like COVID-19 can go through your feet. Uh, what do you have? Oh, uh, what is your water jug doing when you're not wrestling? What is it doing when I'm not wrestling? It sits in my kitchen. So that's ben what Morris, everything does. Ben Morris asks. Are you doing no boots? Like, are you barefoot? Or it sucks. I, I, yeah, I'm not doing it never, ever again. Never again. Before I had boots, though, I got put to wrestle, and I didn't have boots, so I had to go barefoot. Oh, that sounds painful. I uh, see Ben asks, what's in my four-liter jug? Uh, Michael's Secret Sauce. That's what's in there. Anybody watch Space Jam? It's official. Okay, it's thank you for letting us into your home gym. Uh, gym, gym home. Home gym. Home. Yeah. Thank you for joining oh, us. Wait, there's two in. more. Wait. Two more. Christine White asks, what is your wrestling goals for next year? Get a match on WWE TV. Bugs or wrestle uh, again first. Let's start with that. <laughs> Flinters asks, Bugs, Bugs Gabe. I think he meant Bugs, Bugs, Bugs gave, gave you the recipe. Bugs Bunny, yes. No, Michael Jordan gave me the recipe. Would you ever have a hair shaving matchup? Sure, I've had hair versus hair matches before. Thank you for joining us and letting us into your home. Bye bye. Hey, so from w See you guys. Thank you. <laughs>